U.S. is sending an aircraft carrier and Air Force bombers to the Middle East in response to a potential threat from Iran. Israel and Gaza say they are ready to escalate their attacks. Hey everybody, welcome to Alternative Media Television. I'm Chad Booksam. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Multiple breaking stories occurring right now. What were once whispers of war turned into screams and now literal military action has taken place. We see Gaza firing hundreds of rockets into Israel. Israel firing back into Gaza. Huge bloody battle, a huge conflict that's going to escalate as time goes on. Uh, we see even a Russian air base in Syria has just been attacked. This is breaking news. Uh, supposedly they shot down a lot of the missiles, but rockets were launched at the Russian military air base in Syria. We also see a huge conflict coming with Iran, with U.S. warships sent to warn Iran, a message from John Bolton and the Donald Trump administration, basically giving warning signs that the Iranian government is going to shut down the Strait of Hormuz and really put a blockade on world oil supply. Now, a top Russian MP has warned that the escalation with the U.S. conflict in Iran is getting severe, and also inter an international member from BRICS. Now, here's a quote. It says, we can't be idle. We must beat the alarm and take a stand against such behavior from Washington and all international organizations, especially in BRICS. So BRICS, again, which is Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. This is a, a new international order being formed, and we're seeing the, the field being played out for World War. This is exactly what's happening. This is similar to uh, what happened before World War II. You had trade and economic wars. You had strife in all these countries. You had uprisings. Look at all over the world what's happening. You have upri uprisings in Italy, in France. I mean, France is literally burning down, and the United States, we're so divided. Look at Venezuela, they're in civil war. We have all these superpowers all over the place. The Middle East has been obliterated. Israel is conducting operations against Hamas. Obviously, Iran is funneling weapons. This is how they have these rockets, just so everybody knows, obviously, to fire in uh, to Israel, and Israel is attacking back. You have Hezbollah to the north in Lebanon, which they fought multiple wars with Israel, so they're looking at that also. And, of course, Israel is going to back up the United States of America when it comes to targeting Iranian troops in Syria and also the Iran government. So you have this huge world war episode playing out. And again, we have warships being sent supposedly as a message. And we already know John Bolton and Mike Pompeo, these are war hawks when it comes to Iran. This is one of the countries we wanted to take out for a very long time, you know. And look, we pulled out of the Russian nuclear treaty. We pulled out of the Iranian treaty that Obama started. And we declared that their Revolutionary Guard is a terrorist group. These are huge steps that only is going to lead to one thing after we choke the heck out of them economically, which is what we're doing now, and that's going to lead to war. They also declared us a terrorist organization with U.S. military troops in the Middle East, now giving them even more of a reason to strike them. And again, this is why this is occurring. This is going to play out. This is going to escalate. World war is going to happen at any moment. And look, the media, they're still obsessed with these little domestic issues, but it's so easy to see. And whenever it happens, it's not a matter of when, it's not a matter about, I'm sorry, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter about when this is really going to blow up and really going to get really bad and everybody needs to be prepared. You see also warships going through the South China Sea with the uh, China, look, China is, that's it, they're done. They're done with it. So every time you see a U.S. warship kind of traveling through the Spratly Islands, which China is claiming as their own, China's had enough. They're building up. They have carriers now. Uh, Russia is very, they are very strong and they are ready to take on the United States of America. Now, let me ask you, are we ready to take them on? Because this is what's going to happen. It's not just about Iran. That doesn't mean anything. It's not us against Iran. It's not us against Venezuela. It's us against all of them, their proxies, Russia and China. And God knows. What else amongst the sleeper cells that we have here in the United States of America? I mean, we've seen a leader of Hezbollah, one of their sleeper agents, was just arrested last year trying to conduct attacks in America and doing uh, reconnaissance here in America. We have sleeper agents all over the place, you know, and we're in a very dangerous situation. It's not just about us attacking Iran. Obviously, it's about us going to war with Russia and China, 100%. Now, I find this a little interesting. But Donald Trump and the military, they approved new uniforms for the Army, which are the exact same ones during World War II, which I find a little bit interesting. Now, I'm going to keep you guys updated. Just be prepared.
because it's going to rain down, and I all pray for this whole entire planet. Anyway, please click the link below. Get our free AMTV Gold Kit. Christopher Green goes over multiple points and topics. This is free, guys. Click the link below and get it. Protect yourself. Be prepared for what we know is coming. And protect your financial assets. Protect the wealth of your family and your future and your kids and, your, and yourself 100% by learning about gold and the importance of it. Please click the link below. Get the free guide today. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Chad Booksam. This is AMTV, hard hitting it in your face. God bless.